battle for Primus Soul Bridge was a little known but important battle between two of the most elite forces in World War II, the German and the British paratroopers. In mid-1943, the British 1st Parachute Brigade was encamped in Tunisia, waiting to play its part in the next step of the reconquest of Hitler's Fortress Europe. The first stage was Operation Husky, the invasion of Sicily. As the British paras waited for the green light to parachute into Sicily, the Germans had also recognized the strategic importance of Primusol Bridge, the paras main objective. They swiftly dispatched the elite paratroopers only hours before their British counterparts were due to parachute in to capture the same prize. It would be the first time in history that two opposing enemies had parachuted into battle to face each other. For their part, when the British approached the Sicilian coastline, they came under friendly fire, which scattered their air armada and their cargo of paratroopers over a vast area, including as far north as the slopes of the volcano Mount Etna. On the ground, in the darkness, Small groups of paras now formed up into their own ad hoc patrols and made their way to their objective, while the supporting gliders began to land with their artillery. As they made their way through the materia night, the paras managed to overcome the Italian garrison at the bridge. The main enemy thrust was initially directed at Major Frost second para situated atop the hills overlooking the bridge to the south. The Fallschirmjäger, the attackers, were beaten back, so the Germans resorted to battling up the Pras on the hills with heavy artillery and machine gun fire while they switched their attention to the bridge. At high noon, when ground forces were due to relieve the Pras, the Fallschirmjäger struck again. Driving southwards from the nearby town of Catania, a convoy of German Fallschirmjäger debussed from lorries and began to spread out into the fields to form up for an advance towards the bridge defenders. The Paras had seen them coming. With the few support weapons that they had arrived at the bridgehead, they waited for their enemies to patrol too close by, then let loose a little barrage sending the Fallschirmjäger back to Catania for reinforcements. The Germans returned mid-afternoon with all available men, including chefs and drivers, into the fight. Each German attack slowly made ground, though, and the British defenders were now on the back foot. Nearly out of ammo, 1st Paras commanding officer, the legendary Alastair Pearson, made the decision to tactically withdraw to the south end of the bridge, with the aim of continuing to deny it to the Germans. But as more and more fresh German troops poured into the fight, together with more artillery and tanks in support, they slowly began to blast the Paras from across the river. The decision was made to withdraw from the bridgehead as night fell. The aim now was to continue to deny use of the bridge to the Germans, this time through covering fire. The bridge was finally taken by following day by the British ground forces, supported by tanks and artillery. The British survivors of the 1st Parachute Brigade would next see action at Arnhem during Operation Market Garden. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.